Mm-mm. Rolling, rolling. Hey, how you doing? This is Chris. Got to do the Sherpa thing for you one more time again. One of my peeps is interested in the Amazon Associates program, and that's Amazon's affiliate uh, program. So if you want to promote stuff that's on Amazon, get a little something, something. If you send people over there, this is the way to do that. Now. You know how I roll. If one of my peeps is interested, then I'm going to crank out a video so that when the next one of my peeps, because I know there's all kinds of other folks going to be interested in it, I can just point them to this video. Boom, we're good. So there's no waiting whatsoever. So here's how, what I'm going to do in this video. Show you how to sign up for the account and then show you how to generate the links that you can use to promote different stuff on Amazon. All right, so step one, let's go over here to Amazon.com because I want to point something out to you. This is not how you get to the Amazon Associates account. It's basically, think of it as it's a different floor in the Amazon building. And if you type in Amazon Associates right here, boom, 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 all you're going to do is end up on this page right here where you can buy stuff about the Amazon Associates program, but you can't get to the Amazon Associates program. So that's the first thing. The second thing I want you to notice is that I'm not signed in. And this is kind of a detail that's important. You may only have one email address and it's the one that you use when you do personal shopping on uh, Amazon. And if that's the case, then there's nothing wrong with it. But I like to keep my business stuff and my personal stuff a little bit separate. So although I do use Amazon to sign up for the Amazon Associates account. I want to use a different email address. So I use my personal one for shopping and info at chriscarter.net for the Associates program. That's how I'm going to do it for this video. Okay. So just have that in mind because it'll come into play in the next step. All right. So here's how you get to the correct building or the correct floor of the Amazon Associate. Here's how you get to the right spot. I hate when I do that. All right, so what I want you to do is go over to Google and type in Amazon Associates. That's all you have to type in, hit enter. And when you do, you're going to end up right over here. And when you end up right over here, just click Amazon Associates Central and you'll end up on the, let's just call this the front door. Now, if you're already signed in over here in the regular Amazon spot, it's going to register right here in the Amazon Associates platform. It's going to say either it's going to say, hey, we don't recognize that email address. Well, no, duh, because you haven't signed up for the Associates program. So it's basically not a problem. So all you have to do is click sign up. Now, here's where it gets a little bit interesting. If you're already signed up or signed into your Amazon account, it's going to populate as if you're trying to use that original email address. If that's not your case, you don't want to use that one. It'll give you the option to use a different email address that's already registered with them or create a new account. In your case, create a new account. I'm going to use my info at because I've already started this process. I just haven't gone all the way through because I want to show you step by step how to do it. So for you, create you'll click create your Amazon account if you haven't already done it and you don't want to use your current email address that's associated with Amazon. Hopefully that was clear. So let's go info at chriscarter.net or whether I'm good to go. All right, good to go. All right, now when you um, are starting with a brand new email address, it's gonna bring you here. But if you've already got an email address that you're using, you're not gonna see this screen. It's already gonna put all the information it knows about you on this screen. So let's assume that you're starting from scratch. So what you're gonna do is fill out all this information right here. And this is not hard stuff, so hold on. Put your name. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Use this one right here, suggested address, not a problem. Select suggested address. All right, your website and mobile apps. Enter your website. So I'm assuming you have a website, put that in here. So I'm going to use obviously HTTPS net add. Now, if you've got more that you're planning on using, you just keep doing it. Anyone that you have access to and keep putting them in there. All right. So if you don't have anything here, just skip on over it. Click next. All right. Are any of the traffic sources listed above directed primarily at children under 13? Ooh, no, they are not. So let's go ahead and confirm. Okay. What is my preferred associates ID? Let's see. I'm going to say. Yeah, let's use C2 local. What do you think? 
You can use whatever the name of your website is. Basically, this is your choice. You have to be able to remember it. So I'm going to type in C2 local. Got it. Tell which, uh, which content you create. Blog content. Let's see if that works. Which of the following best describes your content? Blog. Content or niche website? Sure. Search. Now, nah. comparison, shopping engine, coupons, deals, website. Alexa skill. Okay, so I only get to pick one, huh? So I'm going to leave that blog. Uh, da, 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 da. Cool. How'd you hear about us? Uh, let's see. Let's put down word of mouth. Why not? And then by typing the characters you see in the box, you help Amazon automate. Okay, whatever. Got it. You agree to the terms and conditions. I do. Finish. All right, creating your Amazon Associates account. All right, thank you for applying to the Pro Associates program, my unique associate ID, in my case, C2Local-20. And then from there, enter your payment and tax information. Now, we're nice, but we're not nice like that. So you're not going to see all the information I'm about to put in here, but I'm thinking you can kind of mentally go with where this is going to go. So first off, let me hit now. All right, got it. Let me sign in because it wants to make sure you're you. Boom, boom, sign in. Okay. For your security, we've sent the code to your phone. Okay, thank you very much. What code do I got? All right. 171. Security, security, security. Submit code. You see how there's a time limit on that bad boy, too. Okay. Enter the phone number where you would like to receive the one time password. Didn't I just do the one-time password? Whatever. All right, send one-time password. Do, do, do. What you got for me? There we go. Okay, we don't want that one. We want that one. Yeah, this is odd, but technology is what it is. Five, six, continue. Do you trust me now, Google, Amazon? Do you trust me? All right. So I'm going to put in my financials here. And like I said, we're nice, but we're not nice like that. So give me a sec. How about this bad boy over here? All right. I think I like this a whole lot better. I'd rather have them do direct deposit to my account than pay me by check or anything like that. All right. Like I said, give me a sec. Man, that's a lot of typing, but whatever. All right, so save changes. Let's see where we go. All right, so I got that hooked up to go to my Chase Savings account or banking account, and we're good to go. All right, da 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 da. Payment method. Got it, got it, got it. Yep, let's go back here just to check. All right, almost forgot. Payment method, deposit. There we go. Direct, okay, minimum is 10 bones, so we'll leave that at 10 bones. Okay, got it, got it, got it, save changes. All right, glid out of there. Let's see what we got going on here. Do, 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 don't want that. That's what I'm looking for, site stripe. That's the ticket right there. So let's go ahead and click site stripe. Anytime today. All right, so side stripe is literally the quickest way to go about this. So to build a link to a page with Stripe, I'll simply go to the page you want and click the get link text button. So what I'm thinking this is saying is that, again, I'm in the Amazon building. And if I go back over to Amazon, I should see that bad boy. Let's find out if it's true, because if it is, this was a lot easier than I thought. Let me do that. Yep, there it is. I refreshed. So now I'm signed into Amazon inside of my Amazon Associates account and Site Stripe is sitting right here. So my choices are get a text link. I can get an image link, text and image link. Cool. So let me go find a product. Let's see. Rubber baby buggy bumpers. Don't know if it's a real thing, but sounds funny. Rubber baby buggy bumpers. Huh. Wow. Well, they're not rubber baby buggy bumpers, but whatever. So let's just click that bad boy right there. Let's just say this is what I want to promote. 
All right, now that I'm on the actual items page, what I can do is you see all of these are now available. Let me go back, I wanna show you something. When I'm on the page that doesn't say anything of specifics, all I see is the text link. And what that's going to do is simply take me to this page. I don't want to do that. I want a specific item. So again, let's pick a specific item. Doesn't matter which one. And now all of these are available. All right. So I can do a text link right there. Copy that. Short link, full link. I suggest you just use the short link. All right. Unless, of course, you're doing some SEO thing, which I don't think you are. So I'll hit copy. I'm going to put that bad boy over here for future reference. Yeah, I could have just hit you there. Let's go ahead and hit car seats. Uh, let's see. Doesn't matter which one. Let's click that one. And again, I have this up here in the upper left hand corner. This time I'm going to hit image. This one. Oh, okay. Can't do it on that one. All right. All right. I'm not mad at you. Not mad at you. Yeah. Go back to the home page. Notice it says Amazon Business right there instead of just Amazon. Let's say, oh, look, light bulbs. All right, so we want that bad boy right there. All right, I'm on this page. Let's see, image link. Cool, cool. Choices. I can do small, medium, large. Let's do medium and leave it at that. All right, now this is that link. Da -da -da -da. Let me copy it. Now here's the cool thing about this. This has a whole bunch. Is it gonna let me see it? No, it's not. When you use this, use all of this. It, it, you'll see, because uh, what you don't want to do is try and play with this link, because this link has all kinds of coding in it that Amazon understands and has coded a specific way. Wow, that's a long link. <laughs> Look at this bad boy. That's a lot of stuff in there. It's got everything from what the actual item is and all that image sources all here. So don't play with this link. All right. So uh, let's see. Now, this is the part where we're going to take a break for a second because I want to show you how to use those links. All right. So let's say that I'm your geek. You would simply send me those links. I put them on a page just kind of like I have here, just like that, and just go link after link after link. Like, all right. That's a lot of stuff right there. But the cool thing is, you if you're going to put this on a page, this is where you would use the text, the image link. This is where you use the text and the image link. And you're like, what's the difference? Stand by, let me show you. Geekery. Geekery. This is why I do what I do, because something that should be simple just a little bit of geekery that's off, and next thing you know, you're pulling out your hair, if that's an option you have. Now, let me show you what should have happened, what did happen, and the workaround so that your particular geek, whoever's helping you out, they'll know how to do this. So, you see how it gives you three options here, text, image, and text and image. Cool. One thing I didn't notice when I first clicked this is when you click image, you can see this right here. This is the universal symbol for your image is broken. This isn't a you thing. This is an Amazon thing. There is no image that's showing up here. So whether I click small, medium, or large, an image should be here, but it's not showing up here. When I click on text and image, this sad face here means there's no image. I can use this all day long, but I'm not going to get an image. It's not a you thing. It's an Amazon thing. So in this case, the only thing that's useful is the text image. And I'm going to show you, I used this one so I can, this image right here, so I can demonstrate the workaround. So over on my, what do you call it? My example page, and I click this, this should have been the image link. This should have been the text and image link. As you can see, the only thing that shows up here is the same goofiness that showed up over here. This little thing right there and that little thing right there. Not really all that useful. Here's the workaround. So if you're creating a page that you wanna insert the link, the text link is for things like this. 
you put your words and then you create a link off of one of those off of one of those uh, words in the sentence. So if I click that, it takes me to the page I wanted to go to. Now, I basically just did the exact same thing with that link that I did with this picture. Since the good folks at Google weren't nice enough to give me a link where I could use, really, this image right here, I simply grabbed this image and simply put the um, link on top of it. So now when I click this image, it takes me to the page I want to go to. Is it aggravating? Yup. But it is what it is. So it, the when I say it is what it is, there's no use getting upset with the geekery. Just understand how to do the workaround. So does it work? The answer is sort of. So just make sure you know what you're doing. And again, if you're trying to do this on your own and it's like you're running into some issues and you want a little bit of help to push you in the right direction, holla at your boy. Go to chriscarter.net slash appointments and then, you know, book out about a 15 minute convo and I'll see if I can't help you get through all this. If you're one of my peeps, you know the deal. Send me your links. Tell me where you want to put them. Boom, done. And we're good to go. All right. So I think... After I finish chopping this bad boy up, that will explain everything. You have to sign up for the account. That gets you here. Sign up for the site stripe and then go to whatever you want. Click the link and then put the links wherever you want to put them. If you're working with me, all I'll need is a bunch of is a page with a bunch of these links on. Excel works. Word works. It doesn't matter as long as I have a page with a bunch of these on. I can get the images. I can do all that other good stuff to get it going. <sighs> technology, or should I say developers. Sometimes you just want to, <clears throat> but it is what it is. All right, so I'm going to uh, call this one a day. Hopefully it is helpful. Do me a solid, though. If you're watching this, uh, I'm going to hang this on YouTube. If there's a part of this video that I left you going, yo, Chris, I, uh, I missed something there. Just leave a comment in the notes. I'll update the video. I'll get it where it needs to be. And then I'll send you one. Oh, well, if I don't have your email address, I'm not sending you a jack. But if you're one of my peeps and there's something you're missing in here, let me know. Or you can contact me directly. Info at chriscarr.net. All right. Let's call this quits. Talk to you next time. Bye. <laughs> Freaking developers. It's always the same thing. It's always one little thing that makes you just want to gnash your teeth.